Hey kisses and welcome back to New Never to Eats. Today I am with Eat with Patrick Blackwood, the conqueror himself. The one and only. Yes, you know it. If you guys want to know, know more, it. check out my OnlyFans. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, I didn't yes, say that. Yes, I said yes, it. Yes, I said yes, it. Yes, I, said yes, it. Yes. I said what I said. You already said it. I said what I said. All right, so quick little prayer and we can get right into it. All right. Hey man, what are you having? I have me a salad, what cheese, else? tomatoes, guacamole, what else you can eat all the goodies. I have a strawberry jaritos. You have a mango flavored one. Well, those will be like right on the side. And then we have guacamole and I have carnitas plate and we have also chips. chips and salsa. Can I put that over there? Yeah. Cool. cool. You guys are going to be indulging in the goodness. And do you want a knife in there? Yes, please. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I appreciate it. So, um, I didn't tell you this, so I'm going to tell you now, because yeah. I wanted to get your real reaction. Right. There has been two women in my Instagram right. asking me, are we really, in, are we in a relationship? Uh -huh. Are we sexually active and are you single? And I, I, rep I did reply back, so if you want to slide into this DM, you can. And I said, yes, we're single. Right. We do collaborate on OnlyFans. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> but we're not in a relationship. Right. I know that sounds really weird for people to like digest. Why is that? <laughs> think about it. Your hair looks so good. Thank you. I don't know. It's. I mean, think about it. It is a little difficult so to what digest. So what, what else are they asking? Can you pass me the salt and pepper? Yeah, of course. They're just asking if, if we were in a relationship. And well, one was like, are you, is, are you guys really single? And the other one was like, are you guys sexually active? And are you guys together? Um, and I was like, he's single. Like, you guys can go ahead and slide into his DMs. Like, I think they thought, like, I was capping or whatever. But Oh. I don't think they think it's real. I think they think I'm lying, but I'm like, no, he's really single. Like, I mean, we talk about things and we're really like close. We're but very open. Yeah, we're very open. It's not like I have. And we have discussion about these things too as well. So. Oh my God, did I take yours? I did. Can you pass me mine? Thank you so much. Yes, here you go. That's yours. Woo, we have a plate full of yummies. Yeah, guys. we have this discussion about it. Yeah, well, how is it? Amazing. You want any rice or anything? Hmm? You want to start a rice or anything? That's good, no, right? This is great. All right, I'm going to get here. Here's oh some hot God. sauce if you want to get like. Or remember, if you want to. Oh, you know what you could do? Take one of these. Make it a salad? No, yeah, make it into wrap. like a little wrap. soft taco. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. That, I'm going to get right into it. Pretty good idea. Yes. Mm. I am living my best life, y'all. Well, I should say we. We all. I, uh, can I include you in that? <laughs> Sí, Ronaldo, ¿verdad? Yes, yeah. the best. Thank Muchas you. gracias, muñeco. Te aprecio. Yeah, we are living mm. our best life. We conquering, making our conquests even better. Absolutely. So. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yes, absolutely. Mmm, that's some of this, man. And some of this and that. Well, you can make that good. Add to some of this and some of that salsa. Now you have a whole soft taco going on. Yeah. I love onions, guys. I don't know about y'all. But. You know how I feel about my salad. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that you eat salad every day. See, people think I'm gonna be joking around when I say I, I really be on this shit, like literally. Oh no. I, I think they could tell you be on it because your body is a representation of that. Mm. Mm. I'm not a jealous woman. People ask me, like, how do I, like, I'm just not a jealous person. I think I, if the person is being completely transparent with me and fully honest, I'm not insecure. I know my coochie bomb. <laughs> and it's clean. So, they can go get it wherever. I think my insecurities come in as a woman when I'm being lied to. And when the person isn't keeping a GQ with me. If I know what the rules are to the game, I can play it. I can play it. Right. Absolutely. A lot a lot of people to take your choices away. I don't like that. I agree. Mm-mm. Mm. I agree. I learned that the hard way. But guess what? You learned it. Well, this is what happened when you choose to suffer and then you start to learn that, that experience itself. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So. I agree. What's one of the most challenging things, right? Like, what's one of the most challenging things that you've had in any relationship without saying any names? Don't say any names. 
But uh, one of the what's one of the most like we've been watching a lot of um, relationships, relationship yeah. stuff, right? stuff on Netflix, like Love Is Blind, um, Married at First Sight. I think for me, it, it would just be set the foundation. I want to know, I want to know the girl insecurities. What's her no goes and not set my boundaries. I think at first, I think every person should set their boundaries and know their their boundaries set. Period. But what's one of the things that? And that's what I think you find most challenging at that you first, have found. At first, not having boundaries. Is not what having saying. boundaries and not being fully authentic. Mm, you put sauce on it. I'm going to. I'm like eating through you. I'm like enjoying this meal for. Yeah. <laughs> with so you. that's what I believe. As a man, I think we get caught up in the pussy instead of not being really uh, desexualized in ourselves and understand like what else can she bring to the table. Yes, her beauty. Her beauty is gonna always be there as an asset. Because but not as a every man, woman is beautiful. Okay, yes. You, initially, she will be a, a seven. If you're going for somebody, you're going to have to be a seven or up. Or higher. Right? But you gotta, you're gotta, going to finally understand, like, okay, what else she can add to my substance? Like, what what she can bring to the table for me? If she can bring me peace, can she bring, she can't help me with my weakness to make it strength. Yeah. You get what I mean? So those are the things that a man should ask. And not only that, we all learn from different things as well. So think about this. You in a different family background. I'm in a different family background. You're gonna be upset at certain things, but hey, you, you should own up as a man like, hey, this is something that I've never done. I'm experiencing. And if you teach me how to teach you, teach me how to treat, treat you. you, then I can I can do what I can do to yeah. to approach that. I think that. you're excellent. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta be when a teacher. When we first met each other, yeah. When we first met each other, we had a lot of, um, like a lot of bumps in the road. And a lot of it had to do with just growth. Yeah, he had to grow. Like he had to develop and kind of mature and understand who he was. And yeah, I think going to Czech Republic changed a lot of things for him because he was on his own. He understood what I actually brought to the table as far as like how supportive I was. You know, like he was in a different country all by himself and just being supportive, genuinely supportive. I don't like when we first met. I think that you failed to acknowledge how you were actually being supported. Right. And once you become aware of that, then it's like, okay, I understand. Right. So once you get your money up, I'm going to give you a nine. I'm, a, I'm still not going to give you no ten. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to turn my eyes. Well, you know why I can't give you no ten. Right. <laughs> but I'm gonna We're not going to say nothing. I'm going to turn my eyes, though. <laughs> you think you're a ten now? That's you lying to yourself. Cause you still, you know, you still gotta get on that. Right, but I'm saying. I think you were eight right now, cause you got two things you gotta work on. As far as I'm concerned, other people might be satisfied with you and put you at a ten. No, 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 no. My I'm standards are high as fuck. I'm saying for myself, because you have to be self confident. So I'm saying you think you at a ten? Yes. How? Emotionally, I'm talking about overall for me. But that's what I'm saying. Overall, the for whole me. picture. For me, yes. Nah, you can't be at a ten, bro. You gotta get your money up. I know that. So you can't be at a 10. But I'm saying that emotionally for me. Emotionally. Yes, I okay. had to be a 10. But the question was, overall, the entire picture, okay. if you had to be realistic and honest about that, right. would you put yourself at a 10? No. But, it, Kate, would you say that to yourself, that you're not a 10? And then knock your... Think about what I'm saying oh, in the I, psyche. I'm, no, 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 not the psyche. I'm, no, 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 we're not talking about the psyche. I know, but that's what I was talking about. That's okay. what I was talking about. I had to be a 10 if I'm going to pursue that. I know that I have to I understand to work what you're on. saying. You're saying that I you want to be confident. Okay, right. so your confidence is at a 10. Right. But I'm talking about, look at the entire puzzle. Right. The entire puzzle. Right. If you had to be 100%. Honest. So spiritually, you're at a 10. Emotionally, you feel like you're at a 10. Yes. Physically, you're at a 12. Like, I mean, come on, dog. Like, you just, that, the whole package is like, damn, in your face, thick as fuck. Like, whatever. We're not going to get into that. That's an OnlyFans conversation. But when it comes to, you have to admit fin to yourself. I know that, financially. What you're lacking. Right, financially, yes. So absolutely. if you look, let me ask you the question again. So if you were to look at the entire picture. Spectrum, right. If you look at the whole thing. What would you ultimately rate yourself? 
8.5. I was going to say, I rate myself an 8, and I'm going to tell you why. You tell me why, and then I'll tell you why. You tell me why you rate yourself an 8.5. Yeah, because I just feel like overall, I'm not fin financial there. Financially there, yeah. Right, absolutely. And I'm, I'm not saying that I won't be. I am. I am be. You will be. And I will be. And so yeah. it's not like that's going to stop me from doing anything I can. But I know what I can do, and I see it myself, the progress. You get what I mean? So what do you think your strong qualities are? I believe it's my <clears throat> being patient, being calm as a person. Um, overall, just being very optimistic for the person that, that I'm with. And she could be a socially, emotionally intelligent. And I can, I can actually give her that. Okay, don't talk about them. We're talking about you. Okay, okay. You. Right. What do you... Bring to the table. Bring to the table. What do you think your strengths are? What do you think your weaknesses are? If you had to be, like, legitimately honest with yourself. Yeah. What so are your strengths? We, and what weakness, you, no, let's my, talk about your strengths. What are your okay. strengths? My strength is, again, like, being, being a man that I can actually hold things down. Like, not financially right now, because I'm still in the process of that. So when you say hold things down, that's what most women are going to take the assumption of. Right. I can hold things down. No, you can dick somebody down. You can support them emotionally. Right. You, want me to fill you in? Let me tell you what I think your strengths are. Oh. Okay. Okay. For, uh, from my perspective. You can ask another female, which I encourage you that you do that. I, like, call, I don't want to say no names, Chantel and everybody else. <laughs> just... You just did say their name. Well, you did a video with them. Right. Well, call her and ask her, and I'm making jokes. Call your exes and be like, or the people you mess with, and be like, what do you think my strengths are? This is what I think your strengths are. Your level of patience is immaculate. I'm talking about your level of patience is something that could be and should be admired. Your listening skills are crazy good. Like, I'm talking about the fact that someone can call you and vent emotionally, 100%. Understanding, 100%. Compassionate. You are a very compassionate person. Like, you can take that person's feelings, understand what they're feeling, and you can console them. Right. So those skills are A1. Right. Um, your package is beautiful. Like, you just, Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, physically, you're beautiful. Um, so when it, those are your strengths. That when it comes to understanding, listening, being emotionally supportive, having somebody's back, like when they really need you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're there. Yeah. There's that's, no that's, hands down. That's hands down. Yeah. Your weaknesses, financially. All right. And then that's the end of it. Yeah, I, that's what I feel. I like. think that's the end of it. I think that's it. Like for real, honestly, I think. After finding myself and being authentic with myself and mm -hmm. then just being me, unapologetic. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse Let me. Let me burp my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just feel like everything else is just rest history. Those are, I think, what, what do you think, be honest, because I don't give a fuck. What do you think my weaknesses are and what do you think my strengths are? From your perspective. Keep it GQ, bro. Keep it GQ. Don't even play. GQ? GQ. You know how to hold somebody back and you're true to your word. And I believe as a woman, that's so loyalty. hard. Yeah, loyalty. Being true okay. to your word, it's like so hard to find with a woman because at the end of the day, and this is most women want the finished product. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, <clears throat> for you to do that, that just, that just shows a lot about your character and you always want to help somebody, right? Now, obviously you're beautiful. Oh, Bang, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, because I be slamming. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got the magic potion. You know. Listen, I should know, be magic, 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 magic. Okay, 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 okay. I'll take it. Now the downside. Yes, downside. Give me my very, picture. very. She's very intense. Like she's very intense. You think that's the downside? You can be very intense. I, I am very intense. I am very passionate. Yeah, very passionate. And there's nothing wrong being passionate. You can you can just okay, you can just say it. When you get mad, bitch, you loud as fuck. 
Yeah, it, when she get mad, she 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 blows up like the I hurricane, do. like for real. Listen, for real. don't blame me. So this is my this is my tone. We every gunning. time, like every time we having like a discussion, this is my tone all the time. No, literally. Yeah. See, can I say puppy? And this is not no lie. There's no kid. I'm not. I agree. To my I agree. Or anything like that. He don't raise. His, he, I, t- I don't. I, I, just I tell don't. him all the time. You have never ever yelled at me. to do that because at the end of the day, I think I'm not going to sh- abuse that. I feel like that's a weak man doing that. And I read that in 48 Laws of Power, and I, I did my research and everything else. You can get your point across without raising your voice. I I'm still trying to work on that. Because when agree. I'm not being heard, I'm like... But that's not only that. I started to understand the social circles when she put me around. And I'm like, yeah, I can't be that much emotional and things like that. I started to realize that. So I'm like, yeah. yeah, I can't do that. So that's the reason why I'm so mellow, calm, and laid back and started to realize what positions... Well, I think you were mellow and calm before all of that. No, but the thing is... That was one of the things I was so attracted yes, to. Yes, yes. But the thing is, let me tell you what, what happened to me. I, yeah. had a, I had a moment that I had a meltdown. And this is a long time ago. And it's a point that people gaslighted me. And then it showed. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. And then you can't hold it anymore. Yeah. So I had to master that. So, but that was before I met you, though. I, I still had to master that. I had to refine that skill in Czech Republic. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I've never witnessed that side. And I'm kind of scared to. Oh, man. I've That's never cool. seen you out of control. You don't ever. Want, you don't want to. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you don't want to. I would say to myself, <laughs> the quiet ones, I was like, if it's anybody that's going to kill me, it's going to be this one. When I'm sleeping. You know, I used to have <laughs> nightmares about that. <laughs> yeah. He was so <laughs> <laughs> swallow something, boy. Come on now. <laughs> I used to have nightmares about that. I'm like, you know what? I gotta be careful with true. this dude. He's so calm. He's gonna snap one day, and he's gonna Jeffrey Dahmer me. <laughs> uh, I'm not a Jeffrey Dahmer nobody, but one point at. Thank you. <coughs> one point, uh, I told you a situation with one of my one of my acquaintances that we was really close. Yeah. And then he told this one guy this one thing. Yeah, and then he yeah, started mm-hmm. beef with me. And I actually really show up at his, at his job at Boston Market. Just a oh, long shit. time ago. I used and to work then, at Boston Market. And homie, and all my friends had to hold me back because I was going to pull him out of his job and beat his ass. That's mm. what I'm saying, that I know the type of level of... Anger that you can get to? Yeah. Same thing with another situation that a, a personal trainer was holding on my stuff and he was throwing my stuff like a female. And you know what I'm saying? And I can get oh. really, I can, I can get to, I can get to ten, and I can get to thirty, real, real quick. quick. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, but you know what? You didn't. And exactly. That, that's what so I'm that's saying. why I had to master, and that's what boxing did for me. I had to yeah. master being really calm because I know the type of person I am now. Yeah. And now that I have a skill of Excuse my me. hands, I don't want to hurt nobody. That oh, is yeah. making that's even making even more like you don't want to hurt nobody, but yeah. if you have to, you know you can. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My boy was in boxing hard, like so every I don't, day I, I don't for wanna, hours. I don't want to. Yeah. No. I think there's the only weakness that I see for you is financially. Everything else is like, honestly, like I can't. I have like no. No criticism when it comes to that. I think that in due time, like you said, a lot of women want the finished product. Um, <laughs> So when you, whenever you do get there, just know who's worthy and who's not, and choose oh, you, wisely. You're coming to my. You gonna be my. You gonna be my man anyway. Oh, I'm gonna be the main. Oh, so shit. I told you, I wanted two. I mean, I'm gonna always be there. Damn. Okay. Just one and just one more. That's it. I don't need. I don't need three. I just need. Um, I'm the only fans collab, y'all. <laughs> so it, it is what it is. Like. Uh, so whoever he dipping it into, that's y'all. That's y'all. I'm only gonna do the only fan stuff with him. Like I'll give my word. I mean, they need to know that you're sexually exclusive to them. Minus the OnlyFans stuff. That's fair. You know women are jealous, bro. They're not going to put up with that. Oh, well. They want the truth? One will. One wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. They want the truth or they want the fairy tale? It's up to them. That's their call. I'm going to be straight up raw truth. Yeah, but I'm saying that's their call. Like, a lot of people, not just women, a lot of people want to be bullshitted. And I, you know, I learned that at the strip club. Whenever I was up for and honest with people, I couldn't get any money from them. But the minute I started to bullshit them and lie to them, I got everything I wanted. And that's what I'm saying. Not everybody wants you to keep it real. So it's going to be very interesting to see who you can attract being so honest and genuine. 
Because not a lot of people can handle that. Oh well. That's just that's just the truth. <laughs> they gonna get with it or get lost. So I'm cool with. Like I told him, I was like, listen, the next time you get into a relationship, like I said, he's single, I'm single, but the next time he gets into a relationship, just make sure that that doesn't interfere with our friendship. Because we have a very solid friendship. Um, and that's no exaggeration. We get along really well. We understand each other. I feel like I've done all the hard work and I feel like I've prepared him for the next woman that's coming into your life. I feel like she's gonna get the finished product. And I gotta, you know, I got the short end of the stick. Well, damn, it wasn't short. But <laughs> I got the stick, y'all. You know what? We're going to close that. With that being said, you guys, stay positive, stay strong. Anything you want to add? No, nah, man. Just, y'all just be yourself, man. Be and yourself. Just, Absolutely. And just do what you got to do for yourself at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Because life is too short. And, um, yeah, man. Just, that's all I have to say. That's it. That's it. Until next time. Love. Uh, 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 uh.